On a more serious topic, and that is King Charles. We woke to the news this morning. It was very concerning because we saw him leave hospital just a week ago. Nothing seemed amiss. Did you, did you know anything behind the scenes? Did this come as a shock to you, this diagnosis? It really came as a shock to everybody. I mean, as you rightly say, we saw him last Tuesday leaving hospital. He was waving to the crowds. He was smiling. He looked very happy. Saw him again on Sunday um, going to church and leaving church, and he waved to the crowds, and he seemed you know, full of the joys of spring. And yet this bombshell came at uh, 6 o'clock UK time, at 6 p.m., mm. which is just over five hours ago, and it, it surprised everybody. I think the... And if one can call it good news, is that he is being home treated. If there was something really serious, he would have been treated in hospital and probably would have stayed in hospital or gone back to it. So while there is cause for concern, the fact that he is being home treated is is perhaps good news. He's not giving up altogether um, royal duties. He is doing his state papers, his red boxes. That's his constitutional duty. Life will carry on on that side, and he will continue with his audiences with his prime minister. What he won't do, uh, and what we won't see for a while, is him out and about in the UK and, and, and elsewhere doing what he really likes doing, and that's meeting the people. Yes, and Dickie, one thing to, to note is as well, he's not carrying out any public duties for the foreseeable future, but he is continuing uh, to carry on with his duties as king. He hasn't appointed another member of the, the royal household to do that. So is that a, a bit of a hint that it's uh, not a great diagnosis, perhaps, but not as bad as we fear, we could fear? Well, I think cancer is always bad. Um, yeah. And yes, we should be cautious, but he is being home treated. Now you say a member of the household doing the duty. No, that can't happen. As far as the state papers are concerned, he has councillors of state who can't uh, delve into the state papers. He has to be mentally incapacitated before somebody can take over. And that person is chosen by the British Parliament uh, and usually a senior member of the royal family. But he is doing state papers, so he's OK on, on that front. What we won't do is, is see him uh, in the fullness of time on public duty. My guess is that with this treatment, and whatever treatment it is, it does take it out of one. And there are people who are saying that he looked pretty washed up at the end of the year. Well, he had a punishing year last year, mm. uh, and he is 75. That he will take the time now uh, to go through the treatment, to recuperate, and comes Easter, and usually the Easter court and nothing happens on the royal front, uh, except the Princess Royal, who tends to work all, throughout the year, we'll probably see him back sometime by the end of April. Uh, so he's got a good uh, couple of months uh, to recuperate. But yeah. the business of state, his constitutional duty, will continue. Indeed, and that is very important to point out, Dickie. Uh, I'm always looking for silver linings in these kinds of things. And as you point out, the King is 75 years old. He's had a punishing year. He lost his mother uh, just over a year ago. He obviously hasn't had a, a very good relationship with one of his sons, Harry. But soon after this diagnosis was made public, we got word that Harry was making that dash back to the UK. Might this be a moment that brings the family back together or is that a little naive of me? Well, don't hold your breath on that one. I mean, Harry hasn't done the right thing since he walked out of the UK at the beginning of 2020. The fact that he is coming back to see his dad is a good move on his part. It is a polite move. It is a just move. And one can only hope that there would be some form of reconciliation. But so much water has gone under the bridge. There's been so much rubbishing of the family. It takes a, a, a very soft person to sort of turn the other cheek, forgive and forget. Uh, you can forgive, but you never forget. So Harry coming, we just have to wait and see. We're not going to get any announcements. We're not going to get any idea of the sort of uh, the rapport between the two, the two men, unless Harry releases it when he gets back to the United States. Anything can happen on that front. Yeah. But I think we have to err on the side of caution uh, in terms of um, a renewed relationship. But he's coming to see his dad because he has cancer. It's the right thing to do. I applaud him for that. Let's just wait and see what comes off the back of it.